Good morning to all my favorite artists out there on day two of at home learning. Uh, before we start today, I just want to, oh my gosh, look at all this great work you guys are doing in the at home um, gallery on Artsonia. Lucas made this really cool Iron Man mask with a 3D pen. Look at all this great stuff. Nice job, everybody. Some of you did the YouTube video. The Z Hayes got her whole inside of her sketchbook cover done and she's done with assignment for uh, day one. Looks like Tiana did the YouTube video from yesterday. So great job guys, keep up the nice work. Uh, we're gonna do a drawing today of a bulldog because I'm so inspired by everybody's uh, photos that I just saw on the JFK website. Pictures of people working really hard and uh, a lot of them have their puppies around them, like Fetty and Marcy's dogs were there. So, so cute. So I thought we'd draw a bulldog today. So we're going to draw the dog's face and we'll, we'll see part of his body, but the rest of his body is gonna kind of fall off the paper. The very first thing right in the center of my page I'm going to do is just a little curved line for the top of his nose. I'm then going to go down kind of like a V and come back up again, okay? Once I have that, I'm gonna just drop down and we're gonna start his mouth by coming down, curving around and looping back up to his nose. Same thing on the other side. I'm gonna drop down, curve around and loop back up towards his nose. Okay, once that's done, I'm gonna to touch one side of his mouth and come around for his little chinny chin chin. And I'm gonna make him a tongue as well. And we're gonna just draw a little um, line in here so that we can see that that mouth goes back Okay. Um, if you want to, you can also just give him a little more detail on his nose so he has like his little nostrils as well. Okay. Um, once that's done, let me just make that a little more symmetrical there. Once that's done, I'm going to go in and just give him one more little line. And this line can be a little more sketchy around his face. Okay. And I'm Right above that is where I'm gonna put his eyes. So I'm gonna start off by drawing two big circles for his eyes. I'm trying to get them just about the right size. And if you do several lines, it's totally okay. Inside of that, I'm gonna put another circle for his pupil. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then I'm gonna do another circle inside of that another circle inside of that in the upper left hand corner and that's going to look like his the reflection off of his pupil now you can color this in now or if you're just catching up with me you can color it in later and remember if I'm going too fast you can always pause the video and catch up so I'm just going to shade all of that in right there Okay, um, and once I have this done, I'm gonna just start to get his face um, drawn out. So I'm gonna take a line right from, right by his, the bottom of his mouth here. I'm gonna take kind of like a diagonal line out. Okay, and once that's done, I'm going to come up and curve in a little bit, up and curve in a little bit. And I realize this is a little bit like an angle here. So if you wanna smooth it out, you can or you can leave it like that. I'm gonna curve a line across the top, like a little rainbow line to give him the top of his head. Then I'm gonna come out with his ears. First, I'm gonna make him look like he has a little antenna on his head. <laughs> and then I'm gonna come down with a V, okay? And the top of that V is gonna kind of be an angle, all right? So this is gonna be the fold in his ears. His ears are gonna kind of be folded over. I'm gonna come down with a V and I'm gonna angle the V a little bit. And I'm gonna come down just like that. Now you could always later on go in and add texture in here. You could color that a different color to make it look really cute. Um, it is up to you, okay? Uh, once I have that done, I'm gonna just start to draw his body a little bit down here at the bottom. I feel like these ears, if you, if you have time, you can come back in and kind of curve the ears out a little bit. Um, I'm gonna come in and touch right below his cheek here and do a curve line. Okay, this is gonna lead down into his um, front leg. So I'm gonna come down with a straight line and I'm gonna curve out one, two, three times with the letter C and then come back up for the back of his paw. And just like that, I'm gonna stop, okay? Then I'm gonna touch right here, right where his chest would be and I'm gonna curve in 
just like that. And my second paw is gonna curve down like this, and I'm gonna do the same thing. One, two, three, and curve back up. And this time I'm gonna go up a little bit higher with this line, kind of rounds out. Um, where we would see his belly right up here, I'm just gonna connect here. We would see his belly right in here, and his back would be, uh, back would probably be more like in here and curve down a little bit. Now, you could always make him coming out of a dog house, or maybe he's running. Um, decide where you want him to be. We don't want him to look like he's you know, floating, so we'll give him a little bit of ground to stand on. Maybe he's outside playing, this little guy, and we could add a background as well. I'm gonna add a few details now and then come back and show you what I have done. really cute. I added a little bit of color on it. Looks like a happy dog. This is my happy dog, Stanley, who tried to make an appearance in our video yesterday with all his barking. Ah, Stanley, please be nice. Say hello to all the kids. All right, guys, I hope you're having a good time at home and come back tomorrow. We'll do another video together. Okay. Have a great day. I can't wait to see what you're drawing. Bye. Say bye. Bye.